The Matrix, your nine to five. Working, 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 going, going, going. School, high school, graduate school. It's not sustainable. Hello world, my name is Danielle Nicole Prizer and I am your transformational coach. I'm hopping on here to share my lived experience and why I know my truth is the matrix, the nine to five, the Western go, go, go is not healthy for my mind, body, and spirit. I was massively an overachiever as a kid. I got my worth, or I thought I got my worth, from getting high marks, from doing wild things. And I was on this hamster wheel of there was never enough, I could always do more, 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 don't slow down, keep going. I ended up having major health complications and during my college experience, I went to five different schools, six different rounds, kept being pulled out for medical mysteries. At the time of my completion of graduation, I was ready to apply again for graduate school to social work or psychology. At the time I was working a million jobs, I was ready to take out more loans, work more jobs, get a graduate degree and just keep going. And then I literally woke up, pun intended. I realized this is not life, Danny. I fought for my life for seven and a half years to run a race to be in this perpetual cycle where I can't even stop, pause, and appreciate, to be in a world where my external value is all that there is, where it matters what letters are next to my name rather than what joy is in my heart. And I had already started the process of applying to graduate school. So I rescinded my applications and I took a gap period. I moved to California. I served at a hippie vegan cafe. I was a dog walker, companion for an elderly woman, and I prepped to travel the world. And then I was in India for four and a half months, Indonesia for short of a month, Argentina, and essentially the learning that I did in playing, the learning that I did in being just a humble student who wanted to better understand other people's worlds, other people's cultures, other people's backgrounds. Not only was it so profound and important, it was so rejuvenating. It literally allowed me to come back full force and literally step back into the coaching space and be the woman I am today. And I've recently found myself, again, going into the overdoing, over-responsibility, taking on more than I physically can handle without burning out. And I made a commitment to myself this morning that I wanna impact the world on a sustainable level. Not just the planet, I love the earth, I love her so much, also in my work. And that it's okay to have a wait list. It's okay to have healthy and loving boundaries with clients. It's okay to learn how to not absorb others' pain even if you feel for them so deeply. And that in turn, This is how we grow. We grow by finding the life we want to live. We grow by finding the way we want to show up in the world. And maybe it is a nine to five for you. Please though, hear me. Regardless of what you do, make sure you pause for more than a vacation. Really look at life. Really be with life. Really go outside with no phone and just say, Wow, what is this? Who am I? Who made this? Let yourself be blown away. Let yourself be in awe. Let yourself live in life, realizing that things are living and alive around you and within you. So from my heart to yours, my truth is that the matrix is not sustainable. And if you want to live a full life, if you want to live your best life, you create your life. It's not a system. It's a choice. From my heart to yours, have a beautiful day.